Uh, Mr. Hebblethwaite, um, when I was reading your biography, it seemed pretty light uh, on your experience as a chief executive officer. Are you in this mess because you don't know what you're doing, or are you just a shameless criminal? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to come and answer questions. Um, and actually, before I answer that question, can I start, please, with an apology? Um, actually, an apology to um, the seafarers that were affected on Thursday last week, an apology to their families, and an apology to the 2,000 200 of our employees who have had to face very difficult questions over the last week or so. Um, and you may see this as a late apology, and I just want to reassure you that the reason that um, you're hearing this, I guess, for the first time today is because I've spent the last week in the business talking to our people one-to-one. -one Why person. didn't you talk to them in advance in a consultation, Mr. Hebblethwaite? Why apologise after you've sacked them all? So, the context of this incredibly difficult decision is that P&O has lost an unsustainable amount of money. And the reality is, and this is the backdrop that I would ask you please to bear in mind, is that we would have had to close the business if we hadn't... I'm sorry to interrupt. I have lots of businesses come to my committee and tell me that, but they all consult before they make their staff redundant. Yeah. You didn't. Yeah, Why not? So... We thought long and hard about the routes to this, and we did consider every single option available to us, and we concluded that every single option available to us would result in the closure of P&O. You haven't, you haven't escaped the law of this country. You've still got to do it within the legal framework. You can't just decide that you're going to absent yourself from the legal system of the United Kingdom. So it, is, it, is, it was our assessment that the change was of such a magnitude that no union could possibly accept our proposal. Oh, you're and right that about case, that, Mr. I've never <laughs> heard such farcical answers to a series of questions. Okay, look, can I move on, Chair? The answer to your question is that the average Jersey seafarer was, in, was paid £36,000 and will receive £46,500, so a year and a third in compensation. So that's part of the answer to the question. The second part of the question is, what are the hourly rates of pay uh, for the new model? So the average hourly rate of pay is £5.50. On top of that, there is a pension contribution, there is food yeah, and accommodation. Contribution. That's below the minimum rate. And then, sorry, can I make a couple of points, please? So on the routes that are international routes that are governed by IT standards we are paying above ITF minimum wages and on our domestic route which I think was referenced earlier Lyon Cairn Ryan where we are governed by national minimum wage of course we are paying national minimum wage and, and so uh, so the seafarers aboard the vessels that are leaving Dover the replacement crew they're going to be paying on, a, on average paid at the rate of five pounds and fifty pence per hour yes that's below the national minimum wage of this country how do you how do you reconcile that where we are governed by national minimum wage, we will absolutely pay national minimum wage. Oh, this is an international seafaring model that is consistent with uh, models throughout the globe and our competitors. Do you live on it, Mr. Hubbard, for £5.50 an hour? Could you, could you sustain your lifestyle at £5.50 an hour? No, you couldn't, could you? Why do you expect people who've got such responsible jobs to be able to do that? How do you expect them to be able to feed their families and pay their bills at £5.50 an hour? So there's a couple of very, very important points here. One yes, is it, one one's is called gas, this, one's called electric. Those are the important points. They can't pay their bills. A couple of important points, please. Um, these, uh, the seafarers who join us are international <coughs> professional seafarers with all the international certification. These are, these are experienced seafarers. I'm going to move on. 